Now, an Emeritus News Brief, I'm Lynn Houston. With the rising unemployment lately, there are reports that President-elect Obama will be spending more on job creation. Obama had established the goal of creating 2.5 million new jobs when he takes office. Now he has raised that to 3 million jobs. That's because estimates of job losses next year could reach 4 million. During his weekend YouTube address, the president announced the appointment of Dr. John Holdren of Harvard University to head up the president's science and technology policy. The policy group also includes Dr. Harold Varmus and Dr. Eric Lander. Also, Dr. Jane Lubchenco has been chosen as the head of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, which includes the National Weather Service forecasting centers. Obama says that to regain our footing in science, we must out-educate the competition. If we support science education to create the next generation of scientists and engineers right here in America, if we have the vision to believe and invest in the things unseen, then we can lead the world into a new future of peace and prosperity. Thank you, and happy holidays, everybody. Canadian federal and Ontario provincial leaders have given Detroit automakers another $4 billion Canadian, $3.3 billion American. Officials say the country is in no position to let more than 600,000 auto worker jobs be lost. This in addition to the more than $17 billion approved by President Bush, which will be used both before and after he leaves office. The FDIC has nailed a credit card issuer for deceptive practices, not revealing fees and available credit lines. The agency says CompuCredit Association of Atlanta, a company charged with deceptive marketing of subprime credit cards with three FDIC supervised banks in violation of the Federal Trade Commission Act. CompuCredit has agreed to pay $117 million in restitution to the customers holding those cards. The company also has to pay $2.4 million in civil penalties. The latest on the biggest issues and public policy at emeritusnews.com. That's an Emeritus News Brief. I'm Lynn Houston.